Hey, buenos dias, que pasa, you guys? John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you guys a learning experience. This is something I used to do when I was selling motorcycles. I don't do it anymore. It was just, frankly, very stupid of me. I think you guys are all better than this, but let this be a learning experience. All right, so as many of you know, I used to buy and sell a lot of motorcycles back in the day. And when I was younger, I had this notion in my mind that people wouldn't want to buy a bike from me if they knew I was just turning around and selling it. So instead of telling people I buy and sell, I would come with them with some stupid backstory. I would tell people, for example, maybe I got it in a trade or maybe I bought it and I want to try out a sport bike instead. I'd come up with some stupid story. At the end of the day, I would just, I was lying to them basically, not being honest with them. And it's not that I was trying to hide anything about the motorcycles, not like the bike was garbage or trash. Again, I just thought that people wouldn't be interested if they knew I was just buying and selling. So I would, you know, come up with some stupid story and sell the motorcycles. Looking back, I'm sure nobody believed me, but I sold a lot of bikes. Well, that all came to a halt, a screeching halt, one Sunday morning when a guy came to look at a motorcycle. It was a V-Star 1100, beautiful pearl white bike. And just like all the bikes I get, you know, I bought the bike, I went and took photos of it, did a nice little post, and had people hit me up about it. This guy came to look at the bike, looked it over, started it up. He was interested. I could tell the dude liked it, and he was probably going to buy the bike. And he was asking me, as most people do, you know, how long I've had the bike, why I'm selling it, all that kind of thing. And I told him, typical story, oh, you know, I got it in a partial trade for a truck or something stupid like that. Well, the dude was looking through some of the paperwork that I had along with the motorcycle, and he happened to find the phone number to the previous previous owner <laughs> and so he pulls out his phone and he dials the number he's like I'm just gonna you know call their previous owner and ask him a couple questions about the bike and immediately as you can imagine I'm like oh crap I'm thinking in my mind like dude gigs up you know what I mean like this isn't gonna end well so this dude calls the number and somebody picks up and they tell him that the guy he's looking for is not available or he's not there at, you know at the moment I'm like oh phew. so they hang up and once this gentleman hangs up the phone, I'm like, you know what, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't get the bike in a trade. I buy and sell, and so I just got a good deal, and I was turning around to sell it. And this dude was so pissed, so pissed, and it's not that I was you know, flipping the motorcycle, he was pissed that I lied to him, and that I wasn't being honest with him, that he didn't even say a word, he turned around and took off. He just left, that was it, he was done. He may have muttered a few curse words, actually. And I obviously, I obviously felt like a complete idiot, super embarrassed, super shamed. And it was at that point that I realized, you know what, I, <laughs> I can't conduct business like this. You know, it's just, even though, like I said, I wasn't hiding or covering anything up regarding the actual bike, at the end of the day, I just wasn't being honest. Yeah, it was stupid. So from that point moving forward, I just started being transparent. When anybody would ask, you know, how long have I had the bike or why am I selling it, I just say, I buy and sell on the side as a hobby. I've had it X number of days or, you know, I bought it a week ago. And whatever information I have, I let them know. Otherwise, you know, I just tell them I don't know. And once I started doing it like that, just so much easier. You know, I could sleep easier at night, my conscience was clean, all that kind of stuff. So, huge learning experience. I did feel like a complete idiot when all that went down. Shameful act definitely something stupid that I did but we learned from it drop a comment below have you guys ever had any experiences like that let me know below what would you do if that happened to you would you still buy the bike or would you walk away on a side note cruiser originals is doing a game of stunt here very soon and they invited me out not to participate my stunt game is terrible but to be like an honorary or guest judge for this game of stunt. They're gonna be posting it on their YouTube channel here in the next week or so. Stay tuned for that if you're digging the Harley Wheelie stunt stuff. It should be super rad. Ton of heavy hitters. There's like five of the top Harley dudes that are gonna go head to head in a game of stunt. So just like a game of horse or a game of skate, it's gonna be awesome. I've been off the air because we were traveling. It's been a couple weeks out of, out of town and just been busy just been busy it takes work now to, to film a video and edit but cool thing is my bro is potentially getting involved in the channel with some of the back end stuff filming editing uh he might launch like a much better merch campaign as far as getting like legit apparel he's really good with design and things like that and so stay tuned in the coming months i'm hoping to be more active on the platform and 
start getting things to a, a better level kind of where they were before where we were getting better content and more content out on a regular basis that's gonna do it for now like and subscribe i appreciate all the support thank you guys for uh, tagging along and have fun out there we'll catch you next time adios hasta luego nos vemos